maybe. Maybe had I worked harder in the first place, then I could have been far more senior in my profession now, because I was in my 30s when I actually qualified. So, but those years before that, when I was doing other things, traveling in the armed forces, they made me the person that I am. And I'm happy with the person that I am. I, I'm completely satisfied with me. So they weren't really a waste, but they could have been used differently. Because we live in a society where we sort of buy the lie that who you are in university yeah. or who you are in <coughs> high school, mm -hmm. that's your one shot. And if you blow it, you blow it. Yeah. Um, and you are obviously proof that that's not the case mm -hmm. and that life isn't made when you're 16 or 22 mm -hmm. or 30. Life is all of the choices you make along the way. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah, and, and, and certainly with a 17 year old at home and I say to him, you know, what happens now between finishing your A-levels and uni doesn't, if it goes a bit wrong, it doesn't have to dictate the rest of your life. You've got probably 60 years of life. Why would whatever happened now make the road for you? You can change that. If you can do it earlier on, fantastic, do it. But actually, if you can't and you need a bit of a scenic route, that's fine as well. And it's certainly something that I talk about when I do my uh, public outreach work and I go to schools, I go to universities. And when I have the kids coming up to me saying, I'm going to do double science, double maths, double electronics, and I'm going to do this and that, and then a PhD, and I say, brilliant, you know what you're doing, go and do it. Then I see the kids go, oh, well, you know, I'm not very clever. 2015, and I still get told this from kids? They, they say to me, well, I, I kind of like science, but I'm not very really clever. I, I, you know, I'm probably just going to work with my dad, and, and I don't think I'll go to university, and I'll probably just go to college and do hairdressing, but I do quite like science, and I like medicine. And I think, well, hang on, stop there. One, you're not stupid. You haven't learnt what you need to learn. That doesn't make you stupid. It just means you haven't yet got to that point. And actually i am absolutely living proof that you can change things and and become not stupid so you know this is what i talk about with the kids that I go out and see and when i explain to them that actually this is the route you take to get to university this is how you become a biomedical scientist and when they then realize that that opportunity is there for them they go well me me really me i can be a scientist and i'm like yeah and this happens a lot and, and that is just incredible, their, their face, it just completely changes, their eyes just light up and they go away just renewed and their life can then go down that road to science if they want it to, rather than they think it's going to be stopped here now because that's what you are at this stage. It doesn't have to be like that. I have no idea what to say. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs>